The normal way to slice any object is with Boolean. We add it to any base mesh, then select a cutter object to subtract a piece from it. This method will give you the ability to modify the shape at any point. However, there are more dynamic ways to slice objects. One is by using a built-in Blender add-on called Carver. To enable it, go to Edit, Preferences. Then in the Add-on section, look for the object Carver. It tells you inside where it's located and what shortcut to use. So in Object Mode, select any object, then hit shift Control and the X key, a command, will show up on screen with the left mouse button click and drag to select the cut area. By default, it's set on rectangle shape cutting to change that you can hit the spacebar to switch between three cutting types, rectangle line and circular one. With the line type, select any area then confirm the cut with the spacebar. And though you see me cutting from ortho view, but it works just fine from any perspective. The circle type works the same. With this one, you can hold the Alt key to move the circle shape around before cutting. Use the W and X keys to adjust the subdivisions on the cutter. Another way to slice object is with the sculpting mode. Here on the left bar, there are a couple of tools to slice the mesh. First one is trim with both box and lasso types. With this, we can directly slice any mesh we have. The lasso shape can even create wonders if you work with ruins. The second tool is the Line Project, more like the Slice Plane in 3DS Max. However, with this one, you need some subdivision on the mesh to slice it around. And that's it. Like the video if you're still here, and see you guys next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.